couple of years ago, I have designed and built a CNC hot wire foam cutter for my friend that I will share with you now. The idea was to create a frameless rigid design with variable width. This particular one has two independent columns capable of moving along the y-axis and also there is one carriage on each column which can move along the z-axis. The length of one side is 1400 mm while the height is 700 mm. That's enough to cut some big chunk of EPP material. The variable width lets you to try different setups. This design uses 21 mm thick plywood boards cut to the actual sizes by the wood supplier, so you don't need to cut any material, just drilling. Let's quickly go through all the building blocks just on one side. The machine has NEMA 23 stepper motors with plenty of torque, so losing steps should not happen. An Arduino based control board is used that I created in Altium Designer. The components needed to build this is written on the PCB, so it's easy to assemble. The input voltage is 24 volts, which is used to drive the steppers. Here we have this step down circuit, provides 12 volts to open the MOSFET gate. And also this 12 volts goes to the Arduino, which further regulates the voltage to 5 volts. The next section is just connectors for the control switches and potentiometers. Further to the right there is an optocoupler isolated part where the higher voltage, in our case 96 volts runs. In this application an N-channel MOSFET or field effect transistor in low side switch configuration is switching 96 volts to the hot wire. You may ask, why 96 volts? It's because the higher the resistance, the more voltage is needed to push enough current through the wire. A nichrome wire has a higher resistance than a copper wire. This type of wire is also used in hair dryers and it has many other applications to generate electrical heat. So, to make 96 volts, I have added two 48 volts power supplies in series. There is a current sensing capability in the circuit to alert in case of wire break, but this function is not implemented in the code. The Arduino generates a PVM signal to control the temperature of the wire. We have this nice PVM signal here. The frequency is fixed, so this determines how many periods or pauses we have in one second. The only thing we modify is the duty cycle aka pause width, meaning how long we are turning the power on within a period. And this determines the applied power across the hot wire. The requirement was to be able to control the machine manually and automatically from PC. For this reason I am using two inputs multiplexers to control the stepper motors either from PC or from Arduino depending on the state of the select pin. The stepper motors are driven using TMC2160 breakout boards in style chop mode to make the steppers quiet. Additionally there is one I2C port for the LCD to display some relevant information. As of the Arduino an obvious choice was an Arduino Mega because it operates on 5 volts. in this case no voltage level shifting is required. And it has a lot of GPIO ports. Now I will briefly talk about the code that runs on the Arduino. It imports two libraries, namely TMC for the steppers and U8 for the graphics. Later it sets up two timers, one is required by the PC software and the other one is to generate step pauses during manual control. In the main loop, depending on the control input, it will send signals to the steppers and it generates PVM signal for the Nikron wire. Finally, I show you the control interface. The switch on the left is for PC or manual control. The next four switches are used to turn on off the corresponding stepper motors. And to the right there is the run switch. It has three states, forward, backward and neutral. At the right hand side two potentiometers are used to control the heat and the speed. The controller software that runs on the PC is called GMFC. It's designed to cut two wing profiles like the aircraft wings in real life. 